my everyday makeup lookbook series. I used to do this years ago and I would just, you know, tell you guys my makeup looks every single day. So I decided to bring it back. I recently saw Annette's Makeup Corner start doing this type of series. I did comment and say that I actually did this like years ago, but I don't freaking care if she doesn't credit me or anything. I really don't care about that. Uh, it's something that I didn't think would ever like, I'm sure she's never seen my videos, so I really don't care. So I decided to do like this pinky look with a pop of gray on the lower lash line and I really like how it turned out. <clears throat> so um, let me just tell you guys what I am wearing. So originally I wanted to use the ColourPop Lust for Dusk palette. Of course I primed with my ColourPop Party Proof Primer and then I just set my primer with my ColourPop uh, Pretty Fresh Powder and then I always use my Dew Drop Lip Oil. Those are going to be the same three steps that I do every time. So unless I change up the eye primer or the powder. <clears throat> But then I saw these in my drawer and I was like, you know what? I really, really want to whip these shadows out again. So I decided to use some of my Lethal Cosmetics shadows because I haven't used these in so long. So I decided to whip these out today. So I used this shade in the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with this shade. And then I used this shade on the outer corners. And then I went in with the pink shimmer on the lid. And then of course I just went in with max blanc type on my brow bone and then for the lower lash line first off i went in with this shade on my inner corners but i thought it was too gold i mean it still looked really pretty but i really like that pop of gold but i really love lethal cosmetics eyeshadows they're just so easy to use and their metallics are just so pretty they're not like the most opaque shimmers but they're just so nice and smooth on the lids and they just look like a wet beautiful shimmer on your lid so it's just really pretty <clears throat> and then I did want a pop of gray on my lower lash line so I just went in with the shade twilight from the lust for dusk palette and then I went over that gold shade with the shade mood lighting on my inner corners and I think it turned out really really pretty I actually got a compliment at Sephora from one of, I don't even know if they were customers or they were like people assessing the stands there I don't know but they said that they liked my eyeshadow so that was really sweet um and then for the waterline I decided to go in with one of the cream gel liners from ColourPop I ordered a bunch of colors recently because they were doing a $10 off of 40 I just messed up this packaging um so I went in with this shade and I actually did use this shade yesterday and I've been meaning to start this series this week, but I kept on forgetting. And my makeup was already, like, not looking that great because I was, like, blowing my nose and stuff. Because, like, once I get home from running errands and stuff, like, I don't really care what my makeup looks like anymore. I just wear it for a couple more hours and then I'll take it off. So, for the waterline, I used the shade Peach Fuzz. And I thought that was really pretty because it kind of added a little pop of peach because... This sweatshirt has pink, orange, and gray in it, so still have all the colors. Even though the Lust for Dusk palette, the, sh the uh, look that I usually do in this palette with this sweatshirt, I always use this palette with it, and I go in with, like, the pinks and grays. But this made me fall in love with the pink and gray combo because I would have never thought to put those shades together before I got this palette, so that's why I wanted to kind of do something similar and still dip into a couple of shades in that. And then for the rest of my face, I actually am testing out a couple of new products from the Sephora sale. So I just went in with my Do It Set uh, Priming Spray, which I always use. So this is going to be in every single look that I do. And then for the primer, I used this new Say Glowy Super Gel Dewy Illuminating Fluid. I've been hearing some really good things about this, and honestly, like, I kind of was in the market to get a new primer, so I decided to get the mini size. I pick up, like, one primer per year, so I just ran out of my baby skin primer from Maybelline, and I saw Morgan Turner test this out in one of her new makeup videos, and I thought it looked so pretty on her skin, and she said that she really liked it, so I went and picked it up. 
it's really nice. I really like it so far. I mean, I've only tried it once, but I really like it. And then for foundation and concealer is nothing new. I used the Rare Beauty uh, foundation in the shade 110N. I actually haven't used this in a hot minute, and I was like, I need to whip this out and use it today. And it, I really love the way it makes my skin look. It's a really nice foundation. I didn't like the concealer. I really like the foundation, though. And then for my concealer, I went in with my e.l.f. Hydro, e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. You guys know I love this concealer in the shade uh, Fair Warm. And then I just set my under eyes with my Rare Beauty Powder. Same old, same old. And then again, set my face with the Pretty Fresh Powder. And then for the rest of my eyes, I went in with... I always use my Essence Lash Primer to prime my lashes, and then I went in with my L'Oreal Lash Discovery on my, I mean Maybelline Lash Discovery on my bottom lashes, which I always use as well. But I am testing out a new mascara from the sale, and this is the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Volumizing Mascara. I really like it so far. It's really nice on the lashes, so I'm going to keep on using it. And then for my bronzer, I've been using the same bronzer the past three days, which is also a new one that I got from the sale. And it's the brand new Pat McGrath Labs Divine Bronzer. And I have mine in the shade Naked Desire. This is a really nice natural bronzer. I'm just, I really like it when I first apply it, but then I feel like throughout the day, I can't really see it. So, I don't know if the shade is just too light for me. I did try and build it up more today, and I still feel like it, you can't really see it after you put on, like, your blush and highlight. So, I don't know. But I really like it. It's a really nice formula. It's a nice everyday bronzer, but I don't know if I need, like, a $40 bronzer for every day. But I like it a lot. And then for my blush, I went in with Benefit's Mini Blush in the shade Shelly. Because I thought this would be a really pretty one, because it's kind of like... It's not, too, it's like a warm pinky shade, so I thought that that would be perfect for this look. I didn't want something too, too pink. I wanted something a little bit more of a peachy pink, and I really love this shade. And also, I've been wanting to use that for a while again. And then for my highlight, I also picked up a new highlighter yesterday, so I wanted to try it today. And this is the Cali Ray Highlight Beach Gleamy Hydrate. Hybrid Feels Highlighter, and this is in the shade Moonlight Peach. This is very, very pretty on the skin. It's called Moonlight Beach, not Moonlight Peach, sorry. Really like the packaging. It's beautiful ombre packaging. And this has a really beautiful texture to it. It's almost like wet putty-like feeling on the cheeks. I did want the pink shade of this, but they didn't ha have any more in stock, so I got the gold one. And this was the last one in stock, and I really like how it looks. I think it looks really pretty. It's almost slightly too dark for me, but I can just get away with it. It is pretty on the skin. Um, so, so far, I've been loving almost everything that I've gotten. And then for setting my face, I just used the 4th Ray Beauty Spray again. And then brows, I just used my ColourPop Brow Gel. And then for my lips, I went in with a new lipstick that I got from the sale, and I've been wanting one of the Makeup by Mario lipsticks for so long, but I always heard that they were really drying. Sorry, I ate earlier, so I don't know if there's, like, crumbs on me. Sorry, I ate in my car because um, I went and got Chick-fil-A after class. So, um, so I got one of the Makeup by Mario lipsticks, and I wanted to try it out today. So that this one's in the shade Sierra. These are the ultra, ultra suede lipsticks. And I really like how this looks. It looks very blurring on the lips. I think it looks really pretty. So, I really like it, and I just wanted to go in with a nude. I didn't want to do, like, all pink. That's what I usually do, but yeah, that's it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this first look, and then we will get into whatever look is next. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do one tomorrow or the day after that. I might not make it a weekly check-in. I might just do it when I have time because I've been doing a lot of schoolwork right now. Also, I'm sipping on an iced mango green tea boba boba tea because this place is actually located in the mall that I work at but they're actually closing tomorrow for the whole summer so I was like I went to Sephora to return something because I bought something from the sale and I don't like it at all but you can't 
return something from Afterpay. You have to either exchange it or just get it returned back to your actual card. So you can't get it returned to your Afterpay, which I'm pretty sure that you can. So I'm going to have to look that up on Sephora. But so far, like I said, I've been pretty much liking everything that I've tried. But now I'm kind of nervous about the foundation and concealer because I haven't tried those yet that I picked up. So, But I like everything else that I've tried so far and I don't think I'm going to return anything that I've tried so far. So hopefully I'll like the foundation and concealer too. But yeah, so yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah, I had to go get a boba after I went to Sephora. But I went to my car first. And I forgot that I didn't get the boba after I left Sephora. And I was like, oh, crap. I'm going to have to go back and get it. But I was like, this is the last day I can get it. So I was like, I had to. So that's it. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so hey, guys. So it's time for look number two. Um, so today is actually 420. So happy 420 for anyone that celebrates. Um, I am part of that nation, and it is legal in New York, so I'm going to go smoke at my boyfriend's house, so I'm just going to tell you guys what's on my eyes today, and I kind of need the break because I am just so stressed out with school right now, so I did like this cool tone look because I always use this palette for this time, for, t for today, I always use this palette on 420. Of course, I used my Party Proof Primer from ColourPop, and then I just set it with my Pretty Fresh Powder. It's going to be basically the same thing every time I do, like, a more natural look. And then for my eyeshadow palette, I used the Melt Cosmetics Mary Jane palette. I haven't used this palette in... I don't even know how long. I don't even know if I used it more than just once last year on 420. So I was really excited to use this palette today. So I used all the matte shades. I just took this shade a little bit in the crease, but it was a little bit too light. So I went over it with Gaspar. So I kind of used it as like a transition shade. And then I went in with this shade and this one's much more pigmented. And then I went in with Rubia to define. And then I went in with um, the beautiful brown Sin Samilla shade on the outer corners. And then for the lid shade, I wanted to use one of the more cooler toned like silvery grays so I went in with Bomba and it just looks so pretty I haven't used that shade in a while I'm pretty sure the last time I used this palette I used Sweet Lucy so I wanted to use something different and then on the lower lash line I took Gaspar again and then for the inner corners I just went in with Mary Jane because obviously I have to use that shade that shade is a bit crumbly and it's not that pigmented on the inner corners because it's very PC but I really like this palette. Like, I've never really had, like, a huge problem with this palette. I think it's a really beautiful one. I prefer this palette over the Muerte palette. I think this palette is, is better quality, and I just enjoy it. So, for my eyeliner, I used the LA Girl um, Perfect Precision Eyeliner in the shade Brown. I always use this on a daily basis and I primed with my Essence Lash Primer as per usual and then used the Maybelline Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes and then for my mascara I went in with the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. I just wanted to use this today. I feel like it's getting old though so I probably need to replace that soon. And then for my face like always I went in with my 4th Ray Beauty Fourth Ray Beauty Do It Setting Spray and then I used the Say glowy super gel illuminator again again I really like this so far I think this is something that I'm gonna use a lot but it's just a really really nice primer so I really like it so far and then for my foundation I decided to go in with the soul body face and body makeup uh, foundation in the shade fair 2 and I always forget like how pretty it makes my skin look like I said today, I really wanted to shop my stash and use some things that I haven't used in a while. I actually have been whipping this out like every couple of weeks. I have too many foundations and tinted moisturizers right at the current moment, but this is a really nice one and it's a light spring foundation, I feel like. And then for my concealer, I went in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer in the shade 110 Nude Ivory. And then to set, I just went in with my Rare Beauty Powder and then the same the color pop pretty fresh um, on my uh, face this is actually my second one of this because I've used up the first one absolutely completely I'll show you guys really quick 
but this one <laughs> I'm basically like scraping the pan but I literally used this entire thing up and it just has a little bit left on the side it's my all-time favorite powder but yeah I don't really use up products too often especially powder products but I love this powder I, people like go through makeup products so much faster than I do like Tara Babes she uses up powders like nobody's business and bronzers I still haven't even used up a bronzer <laughs> speaking of bronzers I went in with the uh Pat McGrath bronzer again um in the shade Naked Desire I just really like this bronzer I, I really like how natural it looks on my skin I was gonna use something else today but I was like no I kind of want to go back in with this guy again and I really like it and then for my blush and highlight, I went in with my Melt uh, Cream Blush in the shade Lynx. I just love using these when I use Melt uh, palettes, especially the Mary Jane ones. So this is a really beautiful, just everyday cream, nudie blush. And then for my highlighter, I went in with the Melt Highlighter in the shade Stargazer. I love this highlighter. Super pretty. It looks more natural in the pan and on the face. It's just such a lovely highlight. And then I just, again, set my face with the Do It Setting Spray and went in with my Clear Brow Gel from ColourPop. And then for my lips, I use these every 420. I've had these for a couple of years and they're still really good. So I went in with the Lime Crime Lip Blaze in the shade Apple. And it's just a really pretty, like, nudie, glossy lippy like these are very unique in formula. I really don't have anything else like them. They're kind of like a cream lipstick like cream liquid lipstick like it's not exactly matte it's more like a like a cream liquid lip that's the only way I can really describe it and yeah that's pretty much it you guys so I will see you guys tomorrow for the next look and happy 420 I'm wearing my smoky bear shirt too from lucky it says california on it but this shirt is so comfortable and i wear it every 420 so bye okay so hey guys so it's time for look number three so today i just went in with a different primer because i did work today so i do like using um where is it the anastasia eye primer so i went in with that and then i just went in with my dewdrop lip oil and then for my powder today, I used the Dior Backstage Powder in the shade 01. And then for my eyes, I used um, the Cosmic Brushes Muse Palette because I really wanted to use this again today. I don't know what's going on with my computer right now. Everything was kind of just thrown in front of me while I was getting ready for work. That's what happens. And then I clean it up when I get home. So this is what I went in with today. I love this palette still, so I wanted to use it today because I kind of wanted to do... A pink look with a pop of yellow on the lower lash line but I feel like the yellow like you can't even see it anymore but it was really vibrant when I put it on so for today I used petal in the crease then I darkened up the crease more with sweet pea and then I used rosewood and fig on the outer corners and then on the lid I used muse which is like one of my favorite shades in the palette it's such a beautiful like pinky shimmer and then I just used Blanc Type on the brow bone as usual for MAC. And then for the uh, lower lash line, I went in the sh with the shade Admire because that was the pop of yellow I wanted to do. And I thought it looked really pretty. And then for the inner corners, I went in with the shade Luster. And that's what I used from the Cosmic Brushes palette. I still love this palette, so I like to use it whenever I can. And then for the face primer today, I went in, of course, with my Do It... Uh, spray from fourth ray beauty and then i used my elf power grip primer i actually wish i would have used the say primer today but i kind of forgot that i wanted to use that so i just went in with this one i love that one anyway and then for my foundation i used the very valentino light lasting perfecting foundation i love this foundation and what's funny is that since annette's makeup corner does these uh check in like makeup series now like makeup diaries she always uses this foundation too and I loved I have loved this foundation since I got it last April I'm not sure when she got it but it's a fantastic foundation and then for my concealer I went in with the new uh very Valentino concealer and this was the first time that I tried it today it looked a lot better earlier and it actually held up for quite a few hours um, it just started creasing around like an hour ago, but it still doesn't even look that bad. Like honestly, it wore off pretty nicely. 
So I wouldn't say this is a long lasting concealer at all. I think that the foundation is way more long lasting and it's definitely less coverage than the foundation, but I like it. I think it's a nice concealer, so I'm going to keep on using it. It's definitely less coverage than the foundation. So, and then to set my under eyes, I went in with the Pat McGrath Labs powder. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Powder, and I'm in the shade Light light Medium 2. I really don't know why the hell I got Light Medium 2 in that. I don't know why I didn't get the lightest shade, but whatever. And then again, I just set my the rest of my face with my Dior powder. And then for my mascara, I went in with the Give by Gwen Stefani Mascara. Uh, can't Stop Staring Mascara. I love this mascara so much. Um, you're going to see it a lot in these because I absolutely love it. And then I went in with my Essence Lash Primer and my Maybelline Lash Discovery as usual. And then for my eyeliner, I went in with another one from ColourPop. And this is the Cream Gel Liner in the shade Charmer. I've actually previous, previously owned this shade before, but I wanted a little bit of a pop of like purpley pink. I don't even know how to describe this color, but it's a really pretty color. So it's not like a true purple. It's a, just a really nice purple color. I don't know what else to say about it. And then for my bronzer, I went in with my Gucci bronzer today. I just wanted to use it today um, in the shade 01. I love this bronzer and I haven't used it in a little while. So I wanted to give it some love and I love that bronzer. And then for my blush, I used the Pat McGrath Labs Divine Blush in the shade Divine Rose. This is one of my favorite pink blushes of all time. It's just such a beautiful pink blush, so I wanted to use that today. And then for my highlight, I went in with the JD Glow Cold as Ice Highlighter. It's a really gorgeous, like, lavendery pink shade. And honestly, it stayed this intensity the whole time that I wore my makeup. So this and the like Give Me Glow and Kaleidos highlighters, they last so well on your on your face. So do the Rare Beauty ones. So why am I trying to put this into the Pat McGrath Labs box? Oh my God. And then I just set my face with my Milk Makeup Setting Spray. I love this one. I always use it when I'm working. And then for my brows, I went in with the Elf Wow Brow in Brunette, I believe. I forget what that one is called. And then for my lip liner today, I do usually use lip liners when I work. I went in with my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Oh Snap. And then for my lips, it was actually the only thing that I got a compliment on today, which is fine. Somebody said they liked my lip color. Um, I went in with a new lip product in my purse because I just got home from work. So I used the Fenty Beauty... Um, Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Fenty Icon Liquid Lipstick in the shade C Sweetheart. And this is what it looks like. Oh my god, the packaging is so pretty on this. And this is a really pretty color and I liked it. It's very comfortable on the lips, but it's not transfer proof. Like I do notice a little bit comes off on my hands when I'm checking to see if it's like dry. So it's not completely transfer proof, but... Actually, when I was wearing it, for some reason, it transferred up here a little bit. And I could see, like, a legit, like, weird transfer stain up there. And I was like, what the heck is going on? So, I don't know about that. I'm probably going to have to still keep on trying it. But, yeah, that's it for today. And I'll see you guys for the next look tomorrow. I really just want to take my makeup off right now. Bye-bye. Okay, so, hey, guys. So, it's time for look number four. Four, so I want to tell you guys what I used today. So I just used my Anastasia eye primer again to prime my eyes and then I went over it with my Dior powder, the same stuff as yesterday. And then for my eye look today, I went in with the Nomad Cosmetics Royal Europe palette because I really wanted to use this again today and I wanted to wear like a blue shirt. So I used this for work because I did work today and I did actually film this look. I also filmed my look yesterday and I'm going to film my look tomorrow. So you basically will see all these products, but I like going through them with you guys as well. So I took this shade, uh, Palettes of Versailles in the crease, then I darkened up the crease more with Hall of Mirrors, and then I used Neptune Fountain on the outer corners, and then I went in with Blue de France all over the lid. It is such a gorgeous, like, bluish, purpley uh, multi-chrome. 
I'm obsessed with this palette. And then I just took um, Imperial Crown from the palette on my inner corners. And that's what I usually use on my inner corners. And that's everything that I used from the palette. I love this palette so much. The mattes are so ridiculously pigmented. And the shimmers like barely transfer. And this is like just as intense as when I first put it on. Like that's how good it is. And then for my waterline, I went in with another one of the cream gel liners from ColourPop. And I haven't tried this shade yet. This is the shade Outer Space. It's like a pretty greenish bluish shade. And I thought it would be pretty with this look. So I used that. And then for my mascara, I went in with the Fenty Beauty um, Hella Thick Mascara. This is the newer mascara that I picked up during the sale. And then I just went in with my Essence Lash Primer and my Maybelline Lash Discovery as usual. And then for my face, I went in with the same primer as, as yesterday, which is the e.l.f. Um, Power Grip Primer and my Fourth Ray Do It Spray. And then for my foundation, I finally got to try the new foundation that I picked up during the sale. And that is the Makeup by Mario Foundation. This is the Surreal Skin Foundation in the shade 1C. I really like this guy. It's a little bit dewier than I was thinking, but it feels absolutely weightless, and I really like how it makes my skin look. It is a bit shiny now, like if I decided just to powder a little bit, but honestly, it's really not too shiny. I actually think I like how it looks even better now than it was before. Like, this powder doesn't really, like, um, take the oils down too much. I mean, I'm not oily, but it just got a little bit dewier as I wore it throughout the day. So I used the Makeup by Mario foundation. I love the packaging. It's just really nice packaging, and I really like this. It's a really nice foundation. It's, it might not be my all-time favorite, but it's a nice one. So I'm going to continue to wear this, and I really, really like it. So I'm glad I finally was able to use it today. And then for my concealer and powder, I went in with the Valentino concealer again. And I'm not sure how I feel about this concealer because I used a different powder today. I don't know because I feel like it lasted better yesterday with the Pat McGrath uh, powder. I'm going to have to continue using this, but at least I was able to try it a couple of times. I'm not sure if I'm in love with it though, but we'll have to see. But I did go in with the new powder that I got from the sale, which is the House Labs um, Biotech powder, I believe. Biotech Blurring Loose Setting Powder. And this is just the translucent shade. Oh my god, let me like blind you with the packaging. But it has like the H on it and it looks like this. It's really cute. And I thought it was a really nice setting powder. Very lightweight. But I don't know if it's exactly going to be long lasting for this uh, concealer. Because it looks pretty... It doesn't look terrible, honestly. It only creases like right here like the milk makeup one would be like completely gone by the end of the day like it's still holding on but it doesn't look amazing it doesn't look that great but it doesn't look it looks okay like honestly it's tolerable but it, it's not like the greatest and then for my bronzer I forgot what I was going to talk about <laughs> Um, most of the stuff is from the sale. I just went in with my Pat McGrath Labs bronzer again in the shade Naked Desire. So I wanted to use a lot of stuff that I got from the sale and I've shown you guys this before. And then for my blush, I did want to go in with the blush that I ordered from the sale today, but it still hasn't come in the mail. So I just went in with one of the ones that I got during the spring sale last year and that is the Dior Backstage Blush in the shade uh 004 coral I don't have the hot pink shade like everybody goes crazy about but this is a really pretty blush so I wanted to use that today and also I haven't used it in quite a while so I wanted to use that and then for my highlight I decided to use this ColourPop Candyland highlighter in the shade Queen Frostine look at how cute this is but this is like a body glow um, highlighter and it's really really pretty on the face I haven't used it in such a long time and it looks really pretty still I think I prefer this one over the Bambi one I think it's a little bit more shiny 
And then for my brows, I just went in with my Wow Brow, and then I just used my Milk Makeup Setting Spray, the e.l.f. Wow Brow. And then for my lip liner, I used the Pat McGrath Labs uh, Perma Gel Ultra Lip Pencil in the shade Structure. I love this lip pencil, and I haven't used it in a little while, so I wanted to use that today. And then for my lips, I went in with a new one from the sale, and this is the Makeup by Mario Ultra Ultra Suede Lipstick in the shade Sierra. I really, really like this lipstick. It's really nice on the lips. It has like a very velvety smooth texture to it. It's literally like a, a velvet lipstick. And I really like it. I kind of stayed away from this for a while because Morgan Turner said that they were really dry. But then I decided to bite the bullet and purchase one because I've been wanting this, to try this formula for a while. And I really like it. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys for the next look tomorrow. Bye. I think that's going to be the last look of the video. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so hey there, guys. So it's time for look, I think, number five. I'm not sure if this is look number five or six. I don't think it's six. I think it's look number five. Um, I will put a picture up of what this looked like before because I was wearing a different lippy, but I'm going to take it off soon, so that's why I put on just a gloss, but you guys will see um, this look in a video anyway because I use the new Disney Wonderland collection, Alice in Wonderland collection, I mean. So I just primed my eyes with the ColourPop eye primer and then um, set my eyes with the Pretty Fresh Powder from ColourPop, and then I went in with the Alice in Wonderland palette. This was actually the first time I was able to use it. I received it like two days ago, so I was able to try it out today, finally. Um, I'm not obsessed with this palette, TBH, but I really like the look that I did because I wanted to match like the shirt I was wearing. Because the shirt that I was wearing like basically has all these colors in it. So um, I used Talking Flowers first in the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Curiouser and Curiouser. And then I just went in with Down the Rabbit Hole all over the lid. It is such a pretty color. It's like a bluish goldish shimmer. It's so pretty. Um, and then for the lower lash line, I used Talking Flowers, and then I used Very Merry Unbirthday on my inner corners, and that's all I used from the palette, and then I just popped on long type on my brow bone, as usual. Um, I think it's pretty, this look. Like, it's a very, like, Easter-y kind of look, but I feel like I'm going to struggle with the, uh, looks I'm going to create with this, but we'll see what I can do with it, but... This Disney palette is definitely not my favorite color story by far, but the formula is good, so we'll see how it goes. Um, and then for my face, I went in with the Do It Spray as usual, and then I used the Say Primer again. Um, let me just finish what I was using on my eyes. So I did go in with the ColourPop Gel Liner in the shade Prance. This is the first time I'm using this shade today. This might be my favorite one so far. And I thought that it would tie in perfectly. Like, it's literally the same color as my shirt. So, I thought it was absolutely perfect. And then I just used my Essence Lash Primer to prime my lashes. And then I used the Act Natural Defining Mascara from ColourPop. And then my Maybelline Lash Discovery on the bottom lash line. And then, for my foundation, I went in with the uh, Makeup by Mario foundation again. Because I really liked how this looked yesterday, and I really like how it looks today, too. I I think it wears off, like, very gracefully, because obviously, like, my makeup is wearing off at this point. Um, for the concealer, I used the Milani Conceal and Perfect in the shade 110 Ivory. Um, but I don't think I'm really loving the House Labs powder. Because at the end of the day, I don't know if it's really, like, my concealer that's creasing that bad or the fact that this powder is, like, kind of making it crease. Because I noticed yesterday, too, at the end of the day, that my under eyes were very creepy. And it's, like, kind of the same today and it really doesn't look good at all. 
So, like, it doesn't look good in person. Like, but, like, even on camera, if I zoom up, do you see how wrinkly my under eyes look? So, yeah, I'm not, like, obsessed with that. And then for bronzer, I used my ColourPop of Alviva Beach Bronzer. I love this bronzer. Um, and this is what it looks like. I'm trying to hit pan on this. I actually hadn't used this in like a week, so I wanted to use it today because I've been using the Pat McGrath one a lot. And then for my blush, I went in with the Alice blush in the shade Oh Dear. This is a really pretty like super icy, not really that icy on the cheeks. And I feel like it kind of lasted all day. I mean, it's still there. You can still see it. It's definitely not as vibrant as before, but again, you'll see it in the video anyway. And then... For my highlighter, I went in with the Makeup by Mario highlighter in the shade Pearl. Um, you can't really see it as well anymore, but again, it is still there. There's still like still a little shine there. And I just think that this is so pretty and I wanted to use it for a while, so I used that. And then I just went in with my e.l.f. Wow Brow. And then for my lips, I went in with the Total Nonsense, I mean Topsy Turvy Lip Kit. You guys will see a picture of this before I tell you guys what was on my face earlier, but I just didn't feel like reapplying both, showing you guys the lipstick and the gloss. Um, but this is the lipstick in the shade Most Curious, so I used that, and then I topped it off with the gloss um, in the shade Total Nonsense. So now I'm just wearing the gloss on its own. I like the gloss actually, but I really feel like this came with like half the product and it looks like I've used like a quarter of it already, but that was just because it came like that. So, um, we might wrap up this video tomorrow though. I might do one more look because I'm only just going to class tomorrow and then I'm going home because I have to work on my pap my papers more. So, yeah, that's it, you guys. Bye. Okay, so hey there, guys. So I'm going to do another look for you guys or tell you guys what's on my face. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if this is going to be a start of a new video or continuing on in the video that I've already been doing, but we'll see. I'll just film an outro um, tomorrow if this ends up being the last look or the first look. So, for my eyes, I just primed with my usual primer, which is the ColourPop Party Proof Primer. And I just used my Pretty Fresh Powder to set that. And my Dew Drop Lip Oil, same old, same old. And then for my eyes today, I decided to go in with the ColourPop Nude Mood Palette. I just wanted a neutral look today for class. This was actually my last class, so I kind of just wanted something easy. Um, and this palette looks like it's been used and abused. I mean, I do love this palette, but it does get very messy. Like, this is probably, like, one of the messiest ColourPop palettes I own, but I just love this palette because it's just so easy to use. You have the full look in front of you because I have a good brow bone highlight in here. So for my eyes today, I used, um... On Naturel in the crease, then I darkened up the crease more with Mugged Off, and then I used Moody on the outer corners, and then for the lid, I put, um, put on airs all over the lid, and then for the brow bone, like I said, I used the shade Bluffin, and then for my inner corners, I used Wink Wink, and that is everything that I used on my eyes today, and I just, I love this palette. It's just so easy. Can you believe I haven't used it this year yet? So I was like, I really just want to go back into it because there's certain palettes that I miss wearing. So I was going to use the Alice in Wonderland palette today, but I just didn't feel like using it again right away. It's not really like my favorite color story that they've really done. So and also I just wanted a neutral look today because I was just going to go to class and then I got some lunch after class and that was it. Um, and for my face, I just used the Do It Spray, and then I just used my Say Primer to Prime. I really have been loving this primer. It's really, really nice. So I just went in with that. And then everything else is just from shopping my stash. I didn't use anything um, newer today. I just used the Say Primer. And then for my face, I used the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil in the shade Pale Light. I just love this product. It makes my skin look so good. And then for my um, concealer, I used my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser in the shade 
Cool, I agree. I'm almost completely done with this. This is probably like the fourth or fifth one that I've went through with this. This is one of my all-time favorite concealers. And then to set my under eyes, I decided to use the Rare Beauty Powder. So I'm not sure how I'm liking the House Labs one. So I wanted to use one that I've used regularly for a while in order to see if I like it. And then I just set my face with my Pretty Fresh Powder again. I'm in the lightest shade, Fair One, if you guys were curious. And then for my eyes, for the rest of my eyes, I just went in with, I'm a little bit out of breath, probably because I just had McDonald's. <laughs> it's not the best choice, but whatever. So I just used my LA Girl Brown Liner in the shade um, brown. <laughs> Straightforward enough, right? And then for my lashes, I just always go in with my Essence Lash Primer. And then for my mascara, I wanted to dig out this one, so I used the Wet n Wild Big Papa Mascara. This is a really nice drugstore mascara. And then for my lower lashes, I of course just went in with the Maybelline Lash Discovery. And then for my bronzer, I decided to use the ColourPop Alviva Beach Bronzer again. It's just my favorite and it's just easy to use when I'm in a rush. So I just wanted to throw that on. And then for my blush I decided to go in to the double play duo and I just used the blush I was originally going to use the highlighter but I kind of wanted to use something else I mean I still love this highlighter and this would have went really well but I just decided to go in with the blush I think this was my first ever powder product I mean powder cheek product that I ever got from ColourPop and it still holds up really beautifully these are absolutely beautiful formula wise I really wish they would bring back these duos because they are so freaking good and the blush is in the shade um getting handsy I hate the names in here like they're so sexual I don't know why and then for my highlighter I decided to go into one of my milk makeup flex highlighters in the shade lit it's such a gorgeous highlighter so I just wanted to I kind of want to rotate more highlighters because I'm just getting overwhelmed with highlighters again. I just, I have so many. It's like, I have to rotate the ones that I can. And then I just sprayed my face again with the Do It Spray. And then I just used my Brow Boss Gel, my clear Brow Boss Gel from ColourPop. And then I went in with a ColourPop Luxe Lipstick. This is the shade What's Your Sign. And this is actually... My all-time favorite nude lipstick ever, and I really love the Lux Lipstick Formula from ColourPop. I can never decide whether or not I love the MAC Matte Formula or the Lux Lipstick Formula more. I think I might like this one more, though, because they're a bit creamier than the MAC ones. But they're still my all-time favorite formula. But this is, like, <laughs> this is the Kathleen Lights um, Zodiac Collection, one of the Zodiac Collection shades. And this shade and Scorpio Moon were like my all-time favorite shades of the Luxe lipsticks. And then they discontinued them. And I never picked up a backup of this. And I this is literally the only lipstick that I ever regret not picking up a backup of. Because it's just my go-to nude. I mean, I probably will use it up eventually. But I love it. It's my go-to nude when I don't know what to wear. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I will either see you guys tomorrow for a new one or we'll just start a new video. So bye for now. I'm just going to be home doing schoolwork for the rest of the day because I just went to, my last class was actually this morning and then, like I said, I went and got myself some McDonald's and now I'm just going to be home because I have to finish my research paper and turn in my paper for this last class today it's basically done I just need to do the citations and that's it so yeah bye okay guys so it's time for another look so I'm going to tell you guys what's on my face today I don't really have much plans today I'm just going to go get my nails done because my nails need help so I'm going to go get them done um so I just put on this like cute warm look so I just primed my eyes with my ColourPop Eye Primer and then just set it with my Pretty Fresh Powder and used my Dewdrop Lip Oil. And then for my eyes today, I decided to go in with the Moira Always On My Mind palette. I haven't used this palette in a while, so I wanted to use this today. I don't know why I covered it before I was going to talk about it, sorry. There's like 10 million inserts in it. So I used this guy today. I just scratched my hand. Okay, so... <laughs> 
I went in with the shade uh, Can't Let Go in my crease, and that was like mostly the shade I wanted to concentrate on using because it went really well with the shirt that I'm wearing. And then I darkened up the crease more with For Sure, and that's kind of like a medium toned brown. And then I used um, Love on the outer corners. And then for the lid shade, I used the shade Good Thing. And then for the brow bone, I just went in with the matte white, which is called It's Fate. And then for the inner corners, I went in with Me and You. And the look turned out so pretty. I haven't used this palette in I don't know how long. And I just forgot how well it performs. The mattes are so nice and creamy and buttery and soft and smooth. And the shimmers are so smooth and metallic. And I just wish that there was more than three shimmers in here because I just wish that there was like at least one like orangey shimmer or like but these shimmers go so well with the palette and I love that you have so many options for the mattes but I just wish there was like one more shimmer but I love this palette I think it's so pretty and Moira is an extremely underrated brand but their stuff is solid their stuff is so good um and then for my eyes I went in with the ColourPop gel liner I just accidentally put it away I went in with the shade Peach Fuzz on my waterline because obviously I'm wearing an orange shirt. And then for my mascara, sorry I'm burping a little bit, I just used my Essence Lash Primer as per usual. And then I used my Act Natural Mascara from ColourPop. And then I just went in with my Maybelline Lash Discovery and that's everything for the eyes. And then for my face, I used the... Um, what do, you, what do you call it? The 4th Ray Beauty Spray. And then I just used my Say Super Glow. Glowy Super Gel Star, Starry Glow. Star Glow Primer. Oh my god. that It's so good. I love it. I've been using that like almost every day. And then for my face, I just went in with my e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. And this is the lightest shade. Um, in the shade Fair. And I love this. It's just such an easy product. And since I'm not really doing much today, it's just the perfect easy product to wear. And then for my concealer, I went in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade uh, Fair Warm. And then for the powder, um, I just set my under eyes with the house labs bio blurring loose setting powder i used that um again to see how i like it because i'm not sure if i'm 100 percent in love with it and then for the rest of my face i use the pretty fresh powder and then for my bronzer i went in with the milani um dolce bronzer this is the baked bronzer um, love this bronzer so much. And then for the blush, I wanted to use one of my Moira blushes since I used the palette and I used the shade Sweet Peach. And this is just like such a great shade. I mean, it's literally like the color of my shirt. So it goes like perfectly. So it's such a pretty blush. And then for my highlighter, I went in with the Cali Ray highlighter again because I've only used this once. Um, so this is in the shade Moon Light Beach. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's just a really pretty packaging. And it has a really smooth, nice formula. So I have really been enjoying that. It's really, really pretty. Um, and then I just uh, set my face again with the Do It Spray. And then I just used my Clear Brow Gel from ColourPop. And then I just went in with one of the Ultra Glowing Lips from ColourPop in the shade Adults Only for my lips. And it's just the perfect peachy nude for this and this shade literally goes so perfectly with the crease shade so I'm actually really happy that I used that and I usually use the ultra glowing lips or like a lip crayon just to throw on my lips when I don't really need to wear like some specific lip some specific lip color so yeah that's it you guys so I will see you guys for another look tomorrow bye